glad, yes, 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 oh, yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord, oh, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, oh, yes. God, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before your holy presence, first of all, to thank you for the blessings of another day, for your loving kindness, for your mercy, for your favor. You've allowed us to come together in your presence one more time. It's you, Lord, that caused us to sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And for this, we give you thanks for life, for health, for strength, for the use and activities of our limbs, the blood running in our veins. God, you are the God that doth wonders and you have declared your strength unto your people. Father, we come to you today for no other reason than to magnify and to glorify your name. You're worthy of the praise. Lord, you're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the praise. You're worthy of the praise. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, your name is worthy to be praised. Now, Father, we pray, God, that you will bless us in our worship experience today. Let your glory come. Let your presence be revealed. Bind up broken hearts, heal wounded spirit, break up the fallow ground, and let your word come forth with power and conviction. Save, deliver, heal as only you can. In the name of Jesus, now bless us, O God, and we'll give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Our devotional scripture today from the 46th number of the psalm. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river. The streams thereof make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. We praise God for the opening of our worship today for the word of the Lord for the prayer and at this time our dear brother son to this ministry brother Matt Smith is coming to lead us in moments of praise and worship and after he has concluded the next preaching voice that you will hear will be Elder Javon Custis who is the chief of protocol of Rehoboth Ministries, Church of God in Christ, dear son in the Lord and a gospel preacher in his own right. Sit there. You're going to be blessed as you hear the word of the Lord today. Come on and give God praise right there where you are and prepare to receive the word of God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So we're just going to lift Jesus up today. Come on, clap your hands. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. How many of you know that he's awesome? Come on. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It goes like this. 
Oh, oh, you are awesome. Hey, 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 hey. Lord, you are awesome. Hey, hey, Lord, you are awesome. Oh, oh, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. And they say, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Help me say, Lord, you are awesome. Anybody known to be awesome? Lord, you are awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. Lord, you are awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Help me say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Anybody know to be awesome? Lord, you are awesome. Hey, you're awesome, Jesus. Lord, you are awesome. There's nobody like you, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, if it was for your love, if it wasn't for quit, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Help me say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. God, you're so awesome. Lord, you are awesome. And we love you on the day. You are awesome, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Hey, 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 hey. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. I'd be lost without you, Lord, if it wasn't for your love. If it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. Help me say, Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Come on, clap those hands, everybody. Lord, you are awesome. Oh, awesome, Jesus. Lord, you are awesome. There's nobody like you, Lord. Yeah. Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know where I'd be without you. If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Now come on and worship them. Hey! Lord, you're so awesome. We thank you all today for being awesome. There's nobody like you. There's nobody like you. You are great and greatly to be praised. Oh, oh. You're so awesome, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey. There's a song that says, Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. From heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom, power, and love, our God is an awesome God. Help me say, our God 
is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Hey, our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome. One more time. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wind. Some power and love. Our God is an awesome God. Oh, oh, only just worship him. For fear, come on, come on. God, we thank you for, keep, for keeping our families, keeping our minds low. Thank you for keeping our midst in the midst of this pandemic. We thank you. Come on, come on, worship him, worship him, worship him. Hallelujah. Oh, we'll just go back to the original song. If it wasn't for your love. If it wasn't for your cross, I don't know where I'd be without you. Can you help me say that if it wasn't for your love? If it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your cross, I don't know where I'd be without you. And let's just let the band play. Come on, come on, come on. Worship, worship, worship. God, we thank you for being awesome all by yourself. There are many adjectives that we use to describe you, but you alone are God and you are God alone. And so we thank you today for this another preaching opportunity to declare the unsearchable truths of your word. God, I pray today that you would anoint your servant. Lord, I prayed, I've studied, I've meditated, but I need your anointing upon this assignment that souls will be saved, bodies will be healed, deliverance and breakthrough will be wrought, that you would even send the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We thank you today for what you're going to do in advance. And because we know you like we do, we give you the glory. I won't take any credit. I won't take any honor, but I'll give you the praise. I'll give you the glory. And I do it right now. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank God. Thank God. And amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. Well, we honor the Lord today for us being here. And surely this is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I thank God that I am saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. I honor the Lord today for my leader, my pastor, my shepherd, my spiritual father. He is the Bishop William E. McMillan, Jr. And we honor God for our leader today. Uh, if you were in the sanctuary, you'd be clapping. And I can hear clapping in my ear. Let's praise God for our pastor today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is a man of integrity and character. Uh, and it is my high honor and privilege to serve under his leadership. And we certainly honor the Lord for our auspicious First Lady, the Evangelist Hope McMillan, and to all of you, the people of God that are viewing today. Uh, for the next few minutes, let's go to St. John chapter 14. Very familiar text, and I hope that the familiarity of this text does not hinder the revelation that God wants to speak to us today. Again, St. John uh, chapter 14. We're going to read just two verses, verse 1, and we'll jump down to verse 27. Right. And the word of the Lord declares, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Verse 27, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. And we'll derive our shamanic theme from verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. 
neither let it be afraid. For the next few minutes, I want to preach from the subject, do not disturb. Do not disturb. Uh, For those of you that are semi-tech savvy and aware of the various uh, functions of your cellular device, you are familiar with a feature entitled, Do Not Disturb. And I hope that that cellular device is an Apple, not an Android, but that's another message. Uh, The setting gives us the user the ability to silence alerts and notifications. The tool also allows us to determine a schedule that will filter when and from whom we receive calls. We can decide to always receive them from those that are on our specialized privilege list or permit repeated calls within three minutes of each other to ring or silence any type of contact indefinitely. In my personal synopsis, Brother Matt, this tool is very helpful for chain text messages. Uh, Group chats foster lively exchanges that cannot always be addressed immediately, but do not disturb, uh, mutes the constant buzzing until we are available to address them. However, I propose that the most frequent use of do not disturb, if you will, uh, is to stop interaction from a particular individual uh, that is unwarranted at the time. Uh, Continuing, when a person is put on this list, uh, there is usually a deeper meaning behind the action. Yes, there has probably been a snowball effect uh, of undesirable encounters. Either he or she is not getting the hint to leave us alone, uh, or they are totally oblivious to the fact uh, that our personalities are simply incompatible. A disagreement has arisen, an offense has ensued, a seemingly blatant disrespect and disregard for individual opinion and personal space has been the norm. And so in order to help us get out of our feelings, in order as an attempt to keep ourselves from constantly and continually getting upset, in the hopes that frustration subsides with a strong and adamant fervor to protect our sanity, we activate, do not disturb. As a method of restraint from altercation, we intentionally ignore. May I submit to you this morning that this is not Uh, the season because of its crucial methods and crucial time. Uh, This is not the season of our lives uh, that we can afford to entertain anyone or anything uh, out of boredom. Let me say it again. Uh, I submit to you this morning that it is crucial in this season that we cannot afford uh, to entertain anyone or anything uh, out of boredom. Yes, there seems to be uh, extra time on our hands. We're entering uh, into another phase of quarantine and seclusion, uh, but this is not an opportunity to be idle. Uh, God is refining vision. God is issuing instructions. Uh, The Lord is applying fresh anointing, uh, and he is tailoring mantles, uh, but it all requires us to be sensitive uh, to his spirit. Uh, The very trajectory of our life uh, is dependent upon how we handle the silence. I said the very trajectory, the next steps, uh, the next moves in this season uh, are dependent upon how we handle the silence. Uh, I hear the Lord say, I hear the Lord say, yes, Elijah, I see you in the cave. Uh, And yes, I'm calling you to the mountaintop. Uh, uh, But I'm passing by you and there's a great strong wind uh, that is breaking the mountain into rocks. uh, But I'm not in the wind. Uh, Yes, the very foundations are trembling, uh, but I'm not in the earthquake. Uh, Yes, 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 the very cities uh, of our country and our world uh, are ablaze, but the Lord is saying, uh, I'm not in the fire. Uh, But the word of the Lord tells us uh, that after the flames, after the fire, uh, a still uh, small voice. Uh, And see, you'll miss the shift uh, if you get caught up in sounds uh, God hasn't ordained. 
I said, you'll miss the shift. You'll miss your guidance. You'll miss your directions if you lend your ear to sounds that God has not ordained. It is not the time, my brother and my sister, to befriend folly and take someone or something off of do not disturb that belongs there. And so this concept is not new as it may seem. It is embedded in the ancient portals of our text today from the gospel of John the beloved. Uh, John is a strong figure in our Savior's inner circle. And while most likely he knew of the other accounts, John's penmanship differs as he chooses to write in the topical order rather than in chronological sequence. Uh, it is his purpose to provide the Christians at Asia Minor with a fuller understanding of Jesus' life and ministry. John wants his readers to settle uh, their faith on the words and the works of Christ. Uh, and about this whole hymn says, and my hope is built uh, on nothing less uh, than Jesus' blood and righteousness. Uh, I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name, uh, on Christ. Uh, I know there's agendas to push other foundations, but on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Uh, all other ground is sinking sand. Uh, and so it is John who portrays uh, the pre-existent deity uh, and presents Jesus uh, as the only begotten son of God, full uh, of grace and truth, uh, who became flesh and dwelt among men. Uh, uh, you know John. You know uh, what John wrote. Uh, it is John that writes, in the beginning was the word. Uh, and the word was with God. Uh, and the word was God. Uh, the same was in the beginning with God. All things uh, were made by him. And without him uh, was nothing made that was made. In him was life. And the life uh, was the light of men. Uh, and the light shineth in darkness. Uh, and the darkness comprehended it not. Uh, uh, John's style, his uh, penmanship again, uh, records lengthy discourses uh, rather than parables. Uh, he carefully picks out seven miracles which serve uh, as signs of Jesus' lordship. Uh, he revolves the ministry of the Savior around three Passover feasts uh, rather than one of the other writers. Uh, and he highlights the I am sayings. Uh, it is in John that you'll hear Jesus say, I am the door. It is in John that you'll see Jesus say I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. It is in John that you'll hear him say I am the good shepherd. You'll hear him say I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And Bishop, I find it very interesting that Jesus Jesus uses the words uh, that he, that were sent to Moses uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, Moses wanted to know who do I tell Pharaoh sent me, uh, and the instructions came, I. Him. And the thing I love about God, Brother Matt, is that I may need him to be one thing and you may need him to be something else, but he can be both to us simultaneously and never misinterpret the I am. Uh, come on, somebody put it in your comments this morning. Uh, I'm glad I serve the I am. Glory be to God. Glory to God. And so uh, John designates the Holy Ghost as the comforter. He is our paraclete. He is our helper. And he emphasizes another comforter, uh, one of the same and equal power as the Christ. Uh, he says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, uh, and then he will bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Uh, then he said, ah, out of your belly shall flow rivers uh, of living water. Uh, and he spoke this concerning uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, and so when 
chapters 2 and 12, uh, the writer gives insight into Jesus' public ministry, uh, while chapters 13 to 21 uh, relate his private impartation to his disciples. Uh, it is in chapter 11 that Lazarus is raised. Uh, Mary anoints Christ with a pound of ointment and spikenard and then wipes his, her, his feet with her hair uh, in chapter number 12. Uh, and as we take a closer look, uh, a turn is taken in chapter 13. Uh, Jesus washes the feet of his companions. Uh, he knew the hour was approaching uh, when he'd have to depart. Uh, betrayal now had already been planted in the heart of Judas. Uh, Jesus engages in the dialogue uh, uh, first about servanthood that then morphs into a monologue. Uh, as John is reclining on the chest of Jesus, Jesus acknowledges Judas's plans aloud, uh, and the pronouncement startles the feast, uh, and Christ and prompts Christ to announce his vastly approaching departure. Jesus continues to teach the onlookers about the new commandment to love one another and as he loved us. But Peter is having some difficulty and he begins to ask questions for clarity because he's very nervous. He is so preoccupied with the Lord's disappearance from the scene and ultimate destination that he misses the main point all together. Uh, in Peter's mind, life without the physical presence of Jesus was unfathomable. Uh, and could it be that the interrogation stemmed uh, from Peter's flooding feelings of abandonment and loss? Uh, after all, Jesus did tell Peter uh, that Satan desires to have you. Uh, he desires to sift you as wheat. Uh, but then he gave him some consolation. Uh, but I have prayed for you uh, that your faith fail Hell, uh, ye not. And now the one uh, that has prayed for me uh, is now the one uh, that is exiting off of the scene. And Peter is having a hard time. Uh, and the Bible says, and it was night. Uh, as I hasten in the close, my brothers and my sisters, uh, what do you do when night comes during the day? Uh, what do you do? What do you do when night comes? Uh, during the day, we've been taught that we've been made endure for a night, and we begin to rejoice that joy comes in the morning. But what do you do uh, when your night has been a month long? What do you do when your night uh, has been since March? What do you do when you've been in nighttime for years? Uh, uh, when that which has been constant and dependable appears uh, now to be fleeting and unstable? Uh, what do you do when all you know is being challenged uh, by the unavoidable which you have been attempting? to prevent. Uh, how do you respond when that which you worked so hard to establish uh, by all rational senses, it's crumbling uh, right in front of your eyes. How uh, do you keep living uh, when you are distraught and hopelessness uh, is drowning your determination? Uh, when fear is predicted to annihilate your faith? Uh, when your joy is being overwhelmed and drowned uh, by sorrow? Uh, where where do you go uh, when that which has provided comfort, ease, and promise uh, is now by every account serving you an eviction notice? Well, uh, I'm so glad you asked. The answer uh, is right here in our text. Uh, let not Lord. your heart be troubled. It's, 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 a, it's a do not disturb right here in the text. That's let good. not your heart be be troubled. In other words, uh, whatever is combating you right now uh, that is fighting with such tenacity uh, cannot overtake you uh, unless you give it permission. Uh -huh. Peter, I know, I know that for three and a half years, uh, I was the solution to every problem. I was the way out of every dilemma. Uh, you see me heal and you see me deliver. Uh, but now I must go. Yes, uh, what is confronting you is real uh, and you can cause you discomfort. Uh, but the Bible says, let not your heart 
be troubled. Uh, you have to allow your mind to be convict, conflicted. Uh, you have to grant problems uh, to present your thoughts. Uh, you have to authorize and sanction uh, your emotions to be agitated. You have to allow the attack of the enemy to overwhelm you. Uh, that's why he said let. Uh, but oh, Rehoboth and Holy, Holy Trinity, I'm sorry, I mean Peter. Uh, uh, God says, I'm not naive, uh, neither am I oblivious. I'm not asleep, neither and I'm, am I nodding. And he that keepeth Israel neither slumbers nor sleeps. God is saying the distress and the worry and the unbridled concern and even the forces of darkness that are trying to pursue you and attempt to weigh on your heart. But I gave you a do not disturb button in my word that will deny the antagonist access for your life and disconnect neck their influence. I've given you peace. I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled and neither let it be afraid. And so as I hasten to a close here, there is a state of rest for the people of God. It is a state of quietness. It is a state of calm and tranquility. It's called peace. Uh, I just stood to encourage you today. Uh, I know that what you're going through is daunting and it feels uh, that it's about to take you out and under. Uh, now it's time to hit. Do not disturb. Uh, uh, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Uh, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, there's that word again, which passes all understanding. So keep your hearts and your minds through Christ. Jesus. Uh, and then the writer in Philippians says, finally, my brethren, uh, whatsoever things are true, uh, whatsoever things are honest, and whatsoever things are of good report, uh, if there be any virtue, uh, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Uh, those things which you have both learned and received and heard uh, and seen in me do. Uh, and the God of peace shall be with you. Uh, uh, don't get lost in despair, my brother or my sister. Uh, believe in God and don't let anything shatter your faith. Uh, set your affections on things above uh, and not things on the earth. Uh, don't be so soon shaken. The Lord uh, has promised us uh, that if we keep our minds Mind stayed on him uh, that he will keep us in perfect peace uh, because we trust in him uh, and I read in the book of Psalm that some trust in horses uh, and some in chariots uh, but we will remember the name of the Lord uh, for the name of the Lord is a strong tower uh, the righteous run there in and they are safe uh, and when the enemy comes in like a flood uh, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him uh, and when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Don't be swayed by the attack of the enemy. Just come on, hit, do not disturb. Because Jesus said, Upon this rock, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I heard the word of the Lord say in 2 Corinthians 4 7 through 9, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels uh, that the excellency of the power of God uh, will not be of us. Uh, we are troubled uh, on every side uh, yet not distressed. Uh, we are perplexed uh, but not in despair. Uh, persecuted uh, but not forsaken. Uh, cast down uh, but not destroyed. Uh, I know you've been caught off guard uh, by whatever is facing you right now. Uh, but can I give you a word of encouragement? Huh? It didn't catch God by surprise. Huh? So my brother or my sister, huh? get a good grip huh? and hang on in there huh? for the race 
is not given to the swift neither is the battle given to the strong but he that endureth to the end shall be saved and nay and all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us for I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus and because he loves us he's given every believer an exclusive all excess pass to do not disturb I'm really going to my seat but I came to encourage you on this last Sunday in November protect your peace guard your mind have oh my God monitor what comes into your heart the enemy is still walking around he's seeking whom he may devour but the Lord has given us peace and on this morning we put every plot on your mental stability on do not disturb we put every prediction that sow seeds and doubt on do not disturb I know the news is doomsday I know the reports are gloomy but thank God for do not disturb for all the promises of God are yea and in him amen we put the dark clouds of confusion and distraction hovering over our heads on do not disturb and lift up your heads O ye gates be ye lifted up the everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in I heard the question come who is the king of glory he's the Lord strong and mighty he's the Lord mighty in battle we put the plethora of plights that seek to rob us of our fortitude on do not disturb cast not away your confidence because it has great recompense of reward and the old saints put it this way put your time in payday is coming after all glory to God being confident of this very thing that he that has begun a good work in us shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ I'm just trying to tell you be not dismayed whatever betide God will take care of you beneath his wings of love abide God will take care of you through every day over all the way he will take care of you through days of toil when your heart does fail God will take care of you when danger steers your path to sail God will take care of you all you may need he will provide trust him and you will be satisfied lonely and sad friends apart he will give you peace he will give you peace he will give you peace for your aching heart no matter what the test may be lean lean weary one upon his breast God, I said God will take care 
of you. We have this assurance that if the storms don't cease and if the winds keep on blowing in our lives, our soul. Our souls have been anchored in the Lord. And though the storms keep on raging, and sometimes it's hard to tell the night from day, there's still a hope that lies within that's restored. It's 2020. I got perfectly clear vision as I keep my eyes upon the distant shore. I, I, I know Woo! he'll lead me safely to that blessed place that he has prepared. I thank you, my father. I thank you, Bishop, for this opportunity to declare today that we have do not disturb. And if my students were here, they would say, I ain't worried about nothing. Come on, help me close. Put it in your comments. I know it's not grammatically correct. I know things are messed up. But put it in the comments. I ain't worried about nothing. I'm on do not disturb. And ain't no need to worry. What the night is going to bring. It will be all over. I said it will be all over in the morning and not only is joy coming but joy has a companion and it has peace oh I've got peace Come on and praise God for his peace. Praise him 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 for his peace. That surpasses our own understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peace, I leave with you. Peace, I give unto you. Not as the world giveth it, give it I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Do not disturb. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. He won't bother me today. I won't allow you to get me ruffled and upset and frustrated because the Lord told me, let not my heart be troubled. He says, you believe in God, believe also in me, in my Father's house of many mansions. Well, not so I would have told you, but I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, ye may be also. Don't get distracted by the temper of this time. Know that you have as the preacher said, you have an automatic do not disturb sign. Somebody tries to get you off center, do not disturb. When the enemy tries to frustrate you, do not disturb. When he tries to cause you to doubt God, do not disturb. When he tells you that God is not the healer, that you know he is 
do not disturb when he tries to tell you that God cannot fix it. Tell him to read the sign. It says, do not disturb. Right there where you are. I know the Lord sent this message to somebody today. Been going through difficulties in your life. The enemy wants you to lose focus. The psalmist said, I would have fainted as I have seen, lived to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. When you can't trace him, you've got to trust him. He says, wait on the Lord and be of good carriage and he will strengthen your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you for this word that we heard on today. Please, Lord, allow this word to take a lodging place in our hearts and in our minds. We realize that the enemy comes to disrupt your plan. But thank you for giving us your peace. Even in the midst of confusion, you've given us your peace. And oh God, you've turned our mourning into dancing. You've taken the garment of heaviness and you've given us a garment of praise. And we praise your name and we bless you, God. Now, Lord, look on that situation. Fix it, Lord, because you can. And we give you praise for it and we thank you for doing it now. We called you and you have responded. And we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Listen, there might be someone who is watching today. And you don't have the Lord Jesus in your life. I want you to know that he absolutely loves you. He wants to welcome you into his family. The Lord says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, then thou shalt be saved. I want you to know, salvation is an inside job. All you've got to do is believe what you say and mean what you say, and God will receive you. And so if that's you today, why don't you repeat the words of this prayer. Dear Lord, I come to you confessing and forsaking all of my sins you said that if I confess that you are Lord and Savior and that you rose from the dead I shall be saved Lord I confess that you are indeed my risen Savior I accept you into my life save me Jesus save me Jesus brother my sister I want you to know if you said that prayer let me be the first one to welcome you into the family of God your next step join a Bible teaching Bible believing church I want you to know that the doors of Rehoboth Ministries and Holy Trinity Ministries swing on welcome hinges. Visit our website, R.M. Kojic. That's R-M-C-O-G-I-C dot org. Leave your information. We will be delighted to welcome you into the family. It will be my joy. It will be my honor to serve as your pastor. Well, my dears and sirs, we've come to this part of our worship experience throughout this virtual experience today. You've seen on the screen the opportunities to give that we have, our cash app, our text to number, and always our website, the mailing address, Rehoboth Ministries, Church of God in Christ, 4423 Pimlico Road, Baltimore, Maryland, 21215. Holy Trinity Ministries, 
5444 Bel Air Road, Baltimore, Maryland 21206. If you would like to mail your contribution, please give. The Lord says, Bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse that there might be meat in my house. The tenth belongs to God. He says, Prove me here with all over the windows of heaven. Pour you out blessings that you won't have room to receive, and I'll rebuke the devourer for thy sake. Then he says, Given it shall be given unto you, good measure. Press down, shake it together, and running over men would give into your bosom. Trust God, and he will bless your seed. Now, Father, we thank you for these that have trusted you with their gifts on today. We pray, dear God, that you'll honor your word, rebuke the devourer, open the windows of heaven, give back in good measure, press down, shaken together, running over in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for the increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, we praise God for this, the last Sunday of November. And we're excited about what the Lord is doing. Do, join us tomorrow morning at 714 for morning manna and we're going to enjoy the presence of the Lord prayer and the word of God every day at 714 won't you join us we'll be delighted to have you with us now we pray that God will bless you and give you his favor and father smile on your children as we dismiss from this live stream, we ask God that you will never dismiss us from your presence, but keep us until we shall gather again. We ask these favors now in Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. God bless you. Amen.